guys, Flame here, and today we're doing a tutorial on how to install any standard Android APK onto your Android Wear device. For this video, I'm going to be using the LG G Watch R and my LG G3, which I am recording with right now. So the first thing you're going to need to do is plug your phone into your computer using this part of the charging cable, so it shouldn't be attached to this. And then once you've done that, make sure you have USB debugging enabled on the phone, which you can just look up how to do that. What you do is you go find your build number and you, under settings about phone, tap that seven times, and then you're a developer. You can enable USB debugging from there. And then what you want to do is do the same thing on Android Wear. So you come into Android Wear, you go to settings, and then you find where it says about and you just tap build number seven times just like on regular Android and you'll get developer options so make sure you enable ADB debugging and then debugging over Bluetooth and do the same on the Android Wear partner app on the phone which I can't show you since I am recording over the phone and then after that all that you need is through the computer so I'll meet you back on the computer so now we're on the desktop so what you want to do from here is make sure you have an Android SDK installed and you're gonna need the ADB properly set up so I'll have a link in the description that you can do that if you don't already have those things but then after that what you want to do is type CMD into your search bar if you're running Windows 7 and then here you're gonna to want to type ADB devices and it'll show you a list of devices attached so this is my LG G3 that's attached but you can see it's not attached to the watch even though we have debugging over Bluetooth enabled in the Android Wear app and on the watch so what you're going to want to do is type uh, you're going to want to type this command in I already had it copied so I don't have to retype it but it's adv forward tcp colon 6666 localhost abstract colon slash adb dash hub and then adv connect localhost colon 6666 yeah that's the right amount of sixes and then when you hit enter after that it connects through your phone to the watch so now when i type adb devices it says this and then it says localhost 666 unauthorized so what that means is it wants your phone to authenticate that it can go on there so what you want to do is just go onto your phone when you unlock the home screen it should say allow where debugging the computer's RSA key fingerprint is and then it'll give you this long string of numbers so if you check the always allow from this computer and the OK button then that means that you're connected to the watch so now when we type ADB devices it has both of these devices which is the phone and the watch so now we're connected through the phone's Bluetooth to the watch via the computer through the Android debugging bridge so now when you type if you want to actually install an application you want to go ADB dash E install and then I have my list of apps up here that I've been trying out Clash of Clans didn't work I was sad so what we're gonna do is put an orientation control one in here because I know for a fact that the one I'm going to install won't work unless I have this so I hit enter and it does not look like that worked. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so that actually didn't work, but it's, I remember why now. What you want to do is type adb dash e install and then hit a space before you drag your APK in and you can just drop that in there. And then when you hit enter, it now it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but see how I can't type anymore? 
it's sending the application over and now it says success and those are the letters I was trying to type. So now we can control the screen orientation on the Android Wear device which is something that you'd probably want to do. Just look for the set orientation app in the Google Play Store and you can use the APK, APK extractor application and get the APKs, put them on your computer and then install them. But the actual app that we're going to be installing is one more line. This is like my favorite game to play on Android Wear. I've done a factory reset on my watch so it didn't have any of these before. So we're going to put this in and then we're going to hit enter. Whoops. Yeah, maybe it would help if I typed not caps lock a d b dash e install and then put it in but we're gonna play one more line on the watch now this takes a while since one more line is a bigger game this takes anywhere from like ten minutes to fifteen minutes i think is the maximum but eventually it will do the same thing it'll install it on the watch and I'll be back once it finishes. And there it is. It says success after installing it. That actually took like 20 minutes this time. So, but anyway, that's all we need to do here. It's on the watch. So I'm going to be back in the real world to show you how it works. So you can close that and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back here with the watch and you can see right there one more line is installed and also set orientation so the first thing we need to do is go into set orientation and change it to a portrait you can put this in whatever mode you want but portrait I feel works best with this and then click OK so now that's just locked to the portrait oh it's, it, it puts this notification up but you can just come over here if you're running the 5.0 update and just block it and then um, oh, it's disabled that so start the mini launcher again alright and now when we go into one more line it might crash a few times but no there it is it's working that's the company logo that makes this game and it takes a little while to boot up because the watch only has the Snapdragon 400 and 512 megabytes of RAM, but it works. And you can just play the game. It's just doing a tutorial. But see, I'm running a full Android game on here. Uh, I died. It's really hard to play games when you're viewing it from a recording screen. But you get the point. And you can use this to install any app you want onto Android Wear and it died. Sometimes they crash because they're not supposed to really run on Android Wear, but you get the point. Stuff that is supposed to work on Wi-Fi doesn't work on the watches because they're not smart enough to go back to the phone to get the Wi-Fi information. It just doesn't work. And sometimes stuff with like an action bar at the top doesn't work, but if there's like a game that has simple touch controls, you can probably put it on them and see if it works. So thanks for watching. If this helped you out, be sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe.